Hello, everyone. Blessings. This is Kasim Swiss Beats Dean from the Dean Collection. And tonight we're celebrating my brother, Titus Kafar. Who is Titus? Well, I know that he's an amazing creative, amazing businessman, amazing visionary, amazing person. But more importantly, you know, he's something that we need in this world right now and in this industry. And I'm glad to call him my friend. I would like to give a big, amazing congratulations to my brother, Titus Kafar, for the WSJ Magazine 2020 Art Innovator of the Year Award. This is a big, 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 big deal. Big zone, my brother. Congratulations. Keep going. I love the history of art, from cave paintings to modernism. But when you take something like an art history book, the picture that has been painted is a depiction of fiction. It's not real. My name is Titus Kafar. I am an artist, painter, a sculptor, a filmmaker. The exploration of the history of painting is where my work started. I wasn't thinking that art school or academia was something that I wanted to pursue, but I applied to Yale for graduate school. And as I spent years taking art history classes, I was struck by the fact that there was very little representation of Black people in the history of Western painting. The story of those who were enslaved, impoverished, those stories are lesser told. And so in many ways, my practice evolved as a result of just saying, hey, these folks were actually here. Are we forgetting this? And trying to find a way to insert myself into that past. When I think about my practice as a painter, I think of it in the same way that we consider the American Constitution. When there are amendments, there is a kind of striking out of the old law so that you can see this is what we believed. Now we're saying we don't. We're not following this anymore. My strategy is to take something like an art history book, find what is beautiful in the thing that exists, and insert for the first time the stories that haven't been told. And I don't know that what I'm doing is new as much as it is utilizing a strategy that has been laid out for me by the elders past. It may not be picked up on by most people, but my process and my practice oftentimes is to take that, that piece of history and then insert or adjust or deconstruct something to give myself space to understand the narrative differently. There are so many ways to reanimate history, to unpack it, to remaster it, and Titus gives himself permission to look at the history as something that belongs to them. That's what will make the 21st century exciting. That's what keeps history alive, is when it becomes this living document. I am currently in my studio in New Haven, Connecticut. And Next Haven is a new national arts model, supporting young artists entering into the professional field of art and introducing them to artists who look like them and allowing them to imagine themselves in this space in a way that they never could have before. Our plan as an organization is to actually create a model that we could take beyond New Haven. We called ourselves Next Haven because our idea is wherever we go, we become the haven for artists. We can look at Philadelphia, we can look at Detroit. There are a lot of places where there could be a new Next Haven. I am not really interested in erasing history. And when I think about my practice as a painter, it'd be easy to call this a kind of revisionist history. It's not. It's truth-telling.